So for this CEM review video, we are going to cover some electrical calculations. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to cover a power factor problem. That's more general. Then we're going to cover power factor correction um, to calculate capacitor size. And then we're going to um, just do one example problem that calculates electrical usage from amps or volts. Amps and volts, actually. So. This is a very simple power factor problem. An electrical load draws 200 kVA and 150 kilowatts. What's the power factor? So um, from the definition of power factor, um, it equals the kilowatts over the kVA. So in this case, we get um, 75%. So next, let's do a power factor correction problem. So this is a facility with a demand of 650 kilowatts, has a power factor of 0.62, and a facility load factor of 80%. The facility is charged a penalty due to the power factor being less than 0.82. To ensure the facility will never again pay a power factor penalty, what size of a capacitor is needed to correct the power factor to 85%? So in this case, we don't really care about the load factor. So we could calculate other things with the load factor, um, given the demand of 650 kilowatts, but um, we that's extra information in this case. So um, it turns out this, this formula um, is pretty hard to derive, so I'm not going to do it here. But when you ever see a power factor correction, when you're going from one power factor to another, you can just use this formula, which is that the size of the capacitor in kilobars um, equals the the power in kilowatts times um, this term here, which is the tan and the, the arc cos or the inverse cosine of power factor 1 minus the tangent of the arc cosine or the cosine inverse of power factor 2. And when you plug all those values from the equation, the p equals 650, power factor 1 equals 0.62, and 2 equals 0.85, you get about um, 420 um, kilobars. So that's how, how to do that problem. So there's many variations on problems like this. Um, I'm just going to do this one. But there's lots and lots and lots of different um, variations. So um, don't think that this is exactly how to do every single one of them. So in this case, we're, F, F, uh, we're estimating the line current, or the amps, needed to operate a three-phase, 10-horsepower um, electric motor. Now. 10 horsepower is the nameplate, and we'll come back to that. But, and we're going to assume the following. A power factor of 0.81, a supply voltage of 480 volts, a motor efficiency of 0.86, and a motor load factor of 0.75. So the big thing is um, there's there are shortcut formulas <coughs> in Doty and Turner, excuse me, on page 316. However, um, you have to... You, to use those shortcut formulas, I'm not going to show the shortcut formula here. I just want to make you aware that you need to make sure that you take into account the motor load factor, which I do on this top thing, before you do that. So the output power of this motor is the nameplate horsepower times the motor load factor. And then um, to get the input power, you divide by the motor efficiency. So you divide the output power by the motor efficiency. And in this case, I just converted that to kilowatts. <coughs> Excuse me. So, and then we take the equation for three phase electricity, which is the volts times the amps times the power factor um, times the square root of three. We solve for the um, amps, and um, and then in this case, the um, power has to be in watts. So we divide the watts by the volts, by the power factor, and by the root three, and we get 9.7 amps. So there you go, there's there's some electrical formulas. So again, this is going to be different for a single phase AC and for a DC. So you want to be careful and um, page 316 of Doty and Turner go over that. All right, thanks for watching.